On to our Mandela Monday story, and um, this morning it is a very sad fact in South Africa that so many South Africans can't even afford to pay for the basic necessities, and that includes not being able to look after and care for their own children. Now, one woman, a very inspirational woman, she used her very own suffering to uplift the over one million vulnerable children that live within our communities in South Africa. She's doing such a fantastic job. I've always believed that any child is a blessing, so when we found many children in need, we decided that they shouldn't be in need um, and we would be able to help them. So my husband and myself have gone out of our way um, to make sure that each and every child knows that they are a blessing and we give them whatever they need if we can via donations. In 2008, Catherine Brink saw the number of children who go to bed hungry and parents battling financial instability or drug abuse. She decided to take action. I've always loved children. Um, unfortunately, after four miscarriages, I decided that we weren't going to try again. I found my son in a children's home called Christine Revelle, where after trying for so long, I fell madly in love with him. The following year, I found my daughter in the same home. and. We've always been affiliated to them, we love them. And also we just believe that any child is a blessing. And you know, if they need help, we're gonna try our utmost best to, to help them where they need it. Catherine's NGO, Little Bricks, helps struggling families with food packages on a weekly basis, as well as distributing donations of clothing, toys, and household goods. She helped me with, uh, with, with, with food, clothes, and anything I need for my family, I come to Catherine and she give it for me. Catherine uh, uh, helped me with a lot of things. She helped me out with my kids' clothes, food, bedding, and our stuff. In Vincent's, when my place was burning down, she was helping us also to prepare a place. And she helped me with medicine so to, to recover my, 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 my place, uh, my, my, my own. So till, this now, to, till now, she gave mm. me a lot of things now. I very appreciate it. The way it works is we first get a question via Facebook or we get a call saying what they need. Um, we then appeal via Facebook or emails or wherever we know that we can get the items from. Mostly it comes from Facebook and then straight away the donations go back out. Little Brinks relies heavily on donations with Catherine's family and friends providing help and connections to new donors who she hopes will support the plans to grow the organization's scope of work. Our goals for the future, um, at the moment we're doing a fundraiser for a car. As soon as we get a seven-seater, we'll be able to help a lot more people. And that is the main idea, is to get out there, help more children, make sure that they're all happy and healthy and well looked after. A true inspiration, Catherine believes that each of us can make a difference and collectively bring positive change to families in need. I would really appeal to the public to help um, wherever they can, not just Little Brinks, there's other organizations out there that definitely need volunteers. Um, if you've got clothes lying around that you don't need anymore, take it down to your nearest place that you know that needs it. Um, food that you've got lying in the cupboard that's close to expiring, we'll do something with it. Really anything and everything gets used up. So there is somebody out there that will use your unwanted items that needs it a lot more than you do.